efficiency doesn't mean that that our demand goes down. Efficiency doesn't mean um, that we use less of something. Generally, it means that we end up using more of it. One way to think about it is is with the the cotton gin and slavery in in the United States in the 1800s. The the invention of the cotton gin made human labor a hundred times more efficient. Right, a hundred times. Right, that's that's a massive gain in efficiency through technology. But it didn't reduce the demand for slavery, and it didn't reduce the demand for cotton. What happened was. Cotton became so much more profitable that more people put more land into more cotton and demand for slaves actually increased, right? Even though the efficiency of that labor was 100, was 100 X. Um, and that's, that's Jeevan's paradox. It's, it's not well understood on a wide basis, but it's something we've got to take into account with resource use. We've got to do it without degrading soil, without consuming water resources, or depleting water resources in the case of irrigation and groundwater. We've got to do it without destroying biodiversity. Because if our systems do that, no matter how efficient they are, at some point we consume the resource and then have to move on. And, uh, and that's, that's why chasing efficiency isn't a solution to sustainability on its own. It is still really important. Right? And we still do need to use technology to achieve those gains, but it needs to be coupled with a look at you know, the whole system of what are the inputs and what are the outputs and what's the effect on the surrounding landscape.